Hey y'all, and welcome to You Can Cook That. My name's Tracy Lynn, and I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'd like to tell you why I feel like I should be on the next Food Network Star. I feel like I could bring some family food to the table for your picky eaters. I can help you recreate your favorite dish from your favorite restaurant at home so that you don't have to go out. It's nice to go out when you can, but it's nice to recreate at home knowing that you're able to. Today I'm going to actually start with my southern baked macaroni and cheese. We used to have it for our holiday meals, but then I figured, why just have it for holidays? Let's have it all year long. And it's very simple to make, and I'm going to show you how you can cook that. Need some elbow macaroni, some all-purpose flour, some sharp cheddar cheese cut up, preferably New York style, a stick of butter, two cups of the finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese, you can get the macaroni blend that they have in the store. That works great. The breadcrumbs and the secret ingredient to southern macaroni and cheese isn't four cups of milk. It's two cups of half and half and two cups of whipping cream. But remember, it's a secret. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, now that we have our cooked elbow macaroni ready to go, we're going to start with our roux sauce. I've got one stick of butter and six tablespoons of flour in here to make our roux. Once we make our roux, this is where we're going to add our secret ingredient. So your roux should look just like this. Nice to a bubble, not brown. Make sure you cook it over medium heat. Now the secret ingredient. Just pour that in there. Okay, now that our secret ingredient has come just barely to a bubble, right when you see those bubbles right there popping up, you want to add your shredded cheese mixture. That's four cups of a shredded sharp cheddar cheese blend that we got at the store. And you just want to whisk that in together. And anytime you're using a non-stick uh, pot, make sure you use a Teflon whisk so that you don't scratch the bottom. You can do that just until your cheese is melted and it makes your cheese sauce. This is the Layer it with your sharp cheddar cheese. Pour the remaining of your macaroni on top. Layer it with the remaining sharp cheddar cheese and top with breadcrumbs. Time to bake the mac. Now that we've baked our macaroni and cheese at 350 degrees for 30 minutes, it's time to enjoy. I'm about to enjoy my piece of baked macaroni and cheese with some sweet tea. The house wine of the South, baby. Can't have it without that. Now, you've been cooking with me, Tracy Lynn, and just remember, if you'd like to see some more of me, pick me to be the next Food Network star, and I can bring family favorite meals to your table every night. Remember, you can cook that.